All right, we're on. Hi, Trevor James. It's you and me. We're gonna play guitar. So, a couple of things I was gonna show you was, remember I talked about the thumb pick? This is what it looks like. It is, for me, it is so nice to strum. It gets it nice and, nice and even. But again, if you, the guys might not like the thumb pick, so you will just have to keep playing until you get used to strumming with it, with your pick. Um, I wanted to show you this thing. I know you have it, um, but I want, I don't know if you knew how to run it. So I'm just, you turn it on here and it's a tuner. So you just go like this, hit your first string and it's obviously out of tune. Now what's green and it's in, then it goes in tune. So when it's green completely, it's in tune, but see how this is going over the edge a little bit? That means it's not quite right. So I have to turn it down a little bit till when you hit it solidly, it stays exactly green. No red, no, no red, no yellow. So I gotta find that. There it is. Okay, so, and it's okay if after a while, it, this is an old guitar, so it's gonna fade back and forth because it's hard to keep in, in uh, tune but yours should be fine because yours is brand new. So that was one thing I wanted to teach you. And then you just turn it off, otherwise the batteries will go bad. And the batteries are like this. They're a little um, three volt battery. You can get them anywhere. Um, so now the cords that I showed you last night, these, if you keep working past those, so here's what I meant by that. So starting with an E minor, and then add the finger, and then moving from the E to the C, to the E, to the G. You should be able to do that by the time you're, but just, I just want you to practice that constantly, just that, and don't even worry about down here. Okay, so it's G, C, E, whatever combination of those chords you wanna do is great. And you'll be able to do songs like uh, Proud Mary, I mean, not that you'd want to do that song, but it's a good learning song. Um, so I'm going to show you then once you get all of that done um, and figured out so that you can look on a piece of paper and see the letter C and you'll go right to a C and you'll know what it is without looking. Um, but it's hard to do now because your fingers are all over the place trying to figure out where to put them. So that's one piece and then the other piece i wanted to show you was some of the cool strums you could do once you learn um and this is probably my favorite um you just go you just strum down strum down and up but when you come up you're going to hit your hand watch my hand so if i was doing proud mary trying to impress girls. <laughs> Is that so, why doing this? Um, no. Uh, and then, um, let's see, another one is, um, well, basically, uh, just the basic strum is, uh, no, I got that in my head. or this thumb pick is going lightly over it. It's not, it's not strumming so hard that I'm finding certain strings and pounding on them. Um, so that would be, and if you don't want the pick at all, you can use your fingers like this and... Oh, that looks like it would hurt. So it's different sounds too. Um, and then this is what I was talking about last night about the D chord. I see I didn't put the D chord on your paper, but um, the D chord, so I only play up here because this is the only three fingers you use up here are up here. So listen what happens when I use the whole thing. It sounds terrible. But if you're using, using the D up here, I only strum where my fingers are. So this is a G chord, so my fingers are clear over here. So I, then I use the whole chord. 
because then it's a full strum. So um, that's basically kind of what the two things that you I thought you mentioned that you were struggling with. So I hope that works. I hope that helps you. If it doesn't, let me know. And then we can talk about picking some other time. We got a lot of fun picks to show you. Um, but that comes way after you figure out moving your fingers. Okay? Love, Grandma. Love, Haley. <laughs> Love, Mom. Mom.